we're one day before this thing is set to launch and I believe it's been in a, a year in the works um, so today we're rehearsing we're running things on the big stage all the lights all the performers all the kids I was asked by Jason Mraz to do this event almost a year ago. Thanks for helping out. Oh man, am I excited. He didn't really tell me much about it, just said it was kids doing art and people singing and it's just this beautiful thing that I would love. And so I have no idea what to expect and uh, I'm about to go in and rehearse and meet these children and do this whole thing and I just am so excited. We were ushered in. We showed up late. We flew straight from Los Angeles, practically got off the plane, walked in the backstage door, and were ushered right on stage. And I've never, I mean, in the, in the face of something that seems so chaotic, it felt so well organized and so caring. And everyone's attitudes. Like, we walk in, everyone's smiling, like, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. And then we get on stage, and we do what we do but everyone just acted like, yes, you were here all along. There is absolute a method to the chaos. They're, they have it together, man. You can tell how much work has gone into this because there is a communication that's happening between the instructors and the kids and the other instructors that, as an outsider, just coming in and not knowing the language but seeing the results is just amazing. The new folks can expect to perform their songs in a way that they've never performed them before. Showing up and being a part of their song, which now serves something bigger, because that song is now embodied by dancers, painters, an orchestra. Um, the audience even brings in a new kind of listening and a new kind of receiving of this art. What, what is this? I, I mean, uh, I was asked to do it, and I said, great, what is it? Well, it's kind of a singing dance, you know, people are going to <laughs> And then I sat there yesterday. It's incredible to watch all of you. I don't think I've ever been surrounded by such joy. Uh, you kind of never think you're going to be in the middle of something like that until you are. The kids have been working for a long time on this, you know, and and we come in, you know, at the end, you know, of months of of them practicing and going through everything, you know. So much has gone on before we arrive that, you know, it makes what we do pretty easy. When you perform a song again and again and again, you have to constantly find new reasons to be inspired to sing it. Like, I need a purpose for singing certain songs. And the songs that go through the Spark live art filter definitely become transformed. The DNA of those songs gets transformed and they're never the same again. show up you just have to show up and see and let yourself be open to to what's going to happen but what you couldn't explain to them or couldn't have them know is that feeling they're going to get to see some kid who's been working for a year to to like put together a show inspired by their song that feeling that you get to see that come together you know 
Everybody cries at least two or three times, <laughs> like a day. These kids who maybe have never had an opportunity to work with this amount of kids or this kind of production, they're being now integrated into something really special in their community. And I also think what the kids are taking away is that everyone is important and everyone has something to contribute and share. And maybe they've never experienced that before. As we all know, it's been proven over and over and over again how much art and music helps uh, the ability to listen and to build confidence. It's just such an important part of a fabric of a culture. Confidence and inspiration that they can continue to do this in their lives on any stage they choose to be on. Um, even if it's a figurative stage, even if it's just showing up in the world and like, this is how I'm going to express myself fully. It was nice to see you On days by hurricanes Tallest trees Grow, grow roots for days and days I think I might have hugged all 200 kids between when I got here and now. I um, Every time I'd come in and out of backstage or around the, the stage that I was just constantly embraced with a hug and I just can't even explain what that feels like. It's just this love that just kept generating throughout the whole building. And so when I get to that, that point where everybody around me is thinking about all the business aspects of it, it's this huge structure built around this beautiful nugget of creativity. And then there's all this business around it and they're talking business, talking business. You know, sometimes I have to get away from that just so I can stay centered and remember, oh, this is why I sing. So getting to sing is a wonderful way to reach a whole lot of people and sometimes to reach yourself. What we're doing tonight is not business. What we're doing tonight is what we are all supposed to be doing is the elimination of categorization and walls and borders and the realization that we are all equal. That is just incredible. And, and it is happening here. I never told you. I think it's 9 p.m. ish and the show has ended. We just finished. I just got off stage um, and I am feeling so overwhelmed. I can hardly put it into words. That was by far my number one favorite thing I've ever been a part of in my career. Live art, it just is a great reminder that there's good people doing good work and that people show up for that. When people are contributing to their community, the community will show up. And that's, that means so much.